Hello, you absolute legends. War. War never changes. And neither does pretending to play a video game blindfolded for clout. It's a tale as old as time. And 60% of the time, it works every time. In theory, it's the perfect plan. First, cover your eyes with a thin sheet of material. Thin being the key word. I can't stress enough that if the material is too thick, you won't be able to see, which will make it very hard to play the game. Then, you pretend to do something that otherwise wouldn't take much skill. For example, beat Super Mario 64 or beat one relatively difficult boss. Once completed, and this step is also quite critical, pretend to act surprised. You really want to milk this part as much as possible. Talk about how much you can't believe it and how nervous you are. Finally, post a clip of your achievement to the subreddit of a popular streamer. Preferably one who doesn't know much about blindfolded runs and wouldn't immediately know it's obviously fake. If you're lucky, they'll watch it on stream. And if your plan has come this far, congratulations. You're now internet famous. Your feat will go down in history as one of the all-time greats. However, I must warn you, this plan comes with great risk. If your fake run gets too popular, it may be seen by someone who actually knows a thing or two about blindfolded speedrunning. And if this happens, you're absolutely screwed. Now, you're internet famous for a different reason. And before you know it, obscure speedrunning channels are making videos about you, racking up millions of views. Today, we will be looking at the streamer Queen Pones a lot, who recently faked a blindfolded takedown of the dragon Alatreon. In the game, Monster Hunter World. Unfortunately for Queen Pones a lot, she didn't do her research, because what she produced was one of the most unrealistic fakes I've ever seen. In today's video, we are going to take a look at her run, and I'll explain why it's fake. And if you've never tried to do a blindfolded run before, you'd probably miss this one crucial detail that makes her gameplay simply impossible. And while you're here, please do me a favor and subscribe. I am dangerously close to a million subs, and it would mean a lot. I really hope you enjoy. Now Legends, it was Valentine's Day yesterday, so naturally me and my lovely wife went out for dinner. Anyone who knows me knows I like to have a drink, so of course I decided to wet my whistle. I didn't want to feel miserable the next day though, which is why I started the night with today's video sponsor, Zbiotics. Zbiotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to help you feel better in the morning after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct that is a major contributing factor to feeling rough the next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Just remember to make Zbiotics your first drink of the night, drink responsibly, and you'll feel your best tomorrow. Look, I love to drink, but I'm also a very busy guy. I can't be spending my Sunday recovering on the couch. That's why I've been using Zbiotics to try and feel as good as I can the next day. Go to zbiotics.com slash carljobs or scan the QR code on screen to get 15% off your first order when you use carljobs at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using my code so you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics also comes with a 100% money back guarantee so if you're not happy for any reason, they'll refund your money no questions asked. Again, just click the link in the description and use code CARLJOBS for 15% off. Trying to convincingly fake a blindfolded run of anything is extremely difficult. Until you actually sit down for hours trying to do something without looking, it's almost impossible to truly understand the hurdles and problems you're going to face. This is why when someone does pretend to play without looking, it's usually immediately apparent it's not legitimate. People who don't do enough research into blindfolded runs, or who haven't really spent a lot of time doing them, don't know what is or isn't possible, and they don't know what is or isn't reasonable. One trap people can easily fall into is assuming that if you've practiced something a lot in general, that means you might be able to do it blindfolded. But this is far from true. Ask any world-class speedrunner and they will tell you that it doesn't matter how much you practice something with your eyes open, doing it blind is a totally different beast. The streamer we are looking at today, Queen Pones a lot, didn't understand this concept. When it comes to the game Monster Hunter, she's an expert. And she's especially good at battling the monster, Alatreon, which is one of the hardest fights in the game. She has killed it over 4,500 times, and she even calls herself the Alatreon Queen. She's definitely skilled at this fight, and she assumed that because she's good at this fight, it's plausible that she could do it blindfolded. And if she did do it blindfolded, that'd be really cool. Difficult gaming feats can get a huge amount of attention on YouTube or Reddit, so there is definitely a lot of incentive to do them. 
the 12th of January would be the day it happened. Queen Pongelot had been practicing, and she was ready to blow the world away. Now, I'm going to give you a huge spoiler warning. If you don't want to know how this story ends, please stop watching now. But the big M. Night Shyamalan twist is that she can actually see through her blindfold. I mean, even we can see through her blindfold. When she puts it on or takes it off, we can quite literally see straight through it. This is why whenever you go to fake blindfold school, they teach you on day one never to put a light source directly behind you. When she puts the blindfold on, she does it very carefully, making sure that there is only one thin layer of fabric between her eyes and the monitor. You can even prove this to yourself by pulling your shirt over your eyes, and you'll see that you can easily see straight through it. Before she even starts playing, we already know this is fake. Her gameplay, however, is so unrealistic, it's shocking that anyone ever took this seriously. Queen Pones a lot is a comic book superhero. She is the living incarnation of the Marvel character Daredevil. Just by sound alone, she knows exactly where Alatreon is at all times. And going further, not only does she know where Alatreon is, she knows exactly where its head is. Normally in blindfolded runs, people will use the lock-on feature to face enemies. With lock-on, the game automatically faces you towards the monster, so it eliminates all of the guesswork. And honestly, with lock-on, Alatreon isn't a hard fight to do blindfolded. It's been done before. But Queen Pones a lot doesn't use lock on at all. Instead, she just free balls the entire fight. There's a good reason she doesn't use lock on actually, and that's because if she used the automatic aiming function, she wouldn't be able to target Alatreon's head. And she needs to hit the head in order to do enough damage with the weapon and strategy she's using. Queen Pones a lot claims that by using directional sound, she can locate the position of the dragon. And it's true that humans can determine the general direction a sound comes from, and even to an extent, the distance. But there is a reason Daredevil is a superhero with his ability to locate things using sound. It's because humans can't do that effectively or reliably. We aren't bats or dolphins. When it comes to blindfolded gaming, this has been tried and tested for decades. It's simply not possible and no one can do it. Blindfolded gamers do not rely upon sound in this way. They always use consistent setups or automatic automatic aiming functions. It would be difficult enough using real sound in the real world, let alone the less precise inputs from a video game played through headphones. And yet what's super interesting is that the true extent of just how unfeasible this task is will be lost on 99% of viewers. Many people instinctively know that humans can't pinpoint things using sound in this way. But they do know that it's theoretically possible to have some idea about what's going on. We know that if we hear something in our left ear more than our right right here, we know the sound is coming from the left. So when we watch this gameplay, it obviously looks unrealistic, but we can understand why someone might think it's possible to do. But there is something far more egregious going on here in this gameplay that almost everyone will miss, and it's hidden in plain sight. While everyone is debating the feasibility of locating where the monster is using sound, Queen Ponzala is doing something far more impossible that you probably didn't even consider. I'm going to show you some clips and try to identify identify what the problem is. I've selected some extreme examples here to highlight what's going on, but it's important to know that Queen Pones a lot is doing this constantly at all times, to some extent, probably without even realizing it. In the clips I showed, she entered the menu to use an item, and in doing so, accidentally tilted the camera to face upwards. She doesn't always tilt the camera when using items, but in these particular cases, she did. Immediately after exiting the menu, she fixes the camera, moving it back to a more neutral position. This isn't something that that is specific to her blindfolded runs either. This is a habit that she has even when she can see. It's so habitual that she kept doing it blindfolded, not realizing that you need to see in order to know you've done this. This is a problem, because there is no reliable audio cue that tells you where you're facing on the vertical axis. Why did she know she was facing up? 
How did she know how much she was facing up? How did she fix her camera perfectly and so quickly? How was she able to do this over and over and over again? The fact that you can't tell whether you're looking up or down actually ends up being a bigger problem than locating the enemy on the horizontal axis. There is no reason or mechanism that explains why she's able to keep the camera in a neutral vertical position the entire fight. You can easily test this yourself. Jump into a game and close your eyes. Then randomly scramble the camera position. Then try to use the audio cues to get your vertical alignment back to neutral. Open your eyes and see how close you were. You'll find that you can't do this reliably, if at all. If you do manage to do this 1000 times in a row, like Queen Pones a lot, congratulations, you are a literal superhero. Again, this is a problem that has been faced before, and anyone who has or will ever try to do this will always end up looking at the floor or looking straight up. There is a way to center the camera and put it back to neutral by pressing a button, similar to pressing Z in Ocarina of Time, but Queen Pones a lot never uses this, and always moves the camera with her mouse. I'm guessing she was so focused on trying to make her horizontal movement believable that she never even considered the vertical movement and just did it without thinking. But it's flat out impossible. The irony is that when using the greatsword, looking up or down achieves nothing. It doesn't let you hit higher and it doesn't change your weapon range. The only reason to keep the camera in a neutral position would be to keep the enemy on screen, which is pointless if you're blindfolded. If you were interested in keeping the camera in a neutral position, you can simply turn off the ability to look up or down in the game settings, which is probably a good idea if you're running this blindfolded. But of course, Queen Pones a lot doesn't do this, and just magically knows where she is looking at all times. After she did her solo effort, about a week later, she would don the blindfold again, and this time beat Alatreon in a 4v1 group attempt. This one didn't go up on her YouTube channel and wasn't shared around, so you probably didn't hear about it. But it's even more insane. Now she has three other team members all making sounds too, but she is able to perfectly distinguish the dragon's sounds and know its location without any problems. Her hearing is so good in fact that she can even tell who the dragon is targeting with its attacks. Take this sequence for example. She expertly dodges this attack when Alatreon swipes at her, an attack that doesn't even have a sound cue you can use to know it's coming. But when it turns to attack the other players, she doesn't dodge at all and even knows where the attack is going. She follows it perfectly with her camera as it's happening. She's good man, she's real good. And she can even play like this with other monsters too. So this isn't just her being really good with Alatreon, she can do this against any opponent. She legitimately has a superpower and scientists need to study this woman's hearing as soon as possible. On the 2nd of February, Queen Ponzalot posted the clip of her first Alatreon blindfolded victory to her YouTube channel. A couple of days later, one of her fans posted it to the Asmongold subreddit, at which time one of her Discord moderators tagged everyone in her Discord telling them to upvote the post. This message is amazing. Attention everyone, this is a call to arms. Our Queen needs you to go and upvote the video so that Asmongold watches it. Comment on it, sing her praise raises, show her how much we support her. There will be many who doubt her legitimacy, but her army watched her make history live. Do your queen proud. Comment, like, share, and raise her up. This is huge. Queen's army, we march on. Shockingly, this worked, and Asmongold did in fact watch it on stream and even posted a VOD of his reaction to his YouTube channel. I mean, listen, is it really hard to believe that somebody couldn't pull this off after 4,000 kills? I bet, I bet this is real. Oh, Asmongold, you beautiful soul. You innocent, naive, ignorant, beautiful soul. This ended up backfiring, as now that the clip was somewhat popular, people who actually knew how to play the game saw the clip and instantly realized it was ridiculous. The gamer Juzzy would then post a video highlighting all of the ways the gameplay was obviously fake. Asmongold would then react to this video, and ultimately he concluded that maybe she could see through the blindfold. I think this is what the blindfold did. I think that it obscured 95% or 90% of her vision. It did not completely obscure it, which allowed her to use the tiny little pixels that, you know, equivalent of pixel that she can see 
that are giving her indicators of where the boss is. So she sees the guy's arm and it's like this, and she knows, okay, well then the head's gonna be here. Asmongold, I think you might be onto something. World-class blindfolded speedrunner Bubsia would also chime in, also declaring that her run was faked. Queen Ponzalot would not take these criticisms lying down, nor would her moderators, accusing people who doubted her as just being incels who lived in their mother's basement. She uploaded a video claiming that she was the victim of slander and malice. She was adamant that she really was Daredevil, and really did possess superhuman hearing and the ability to know where she's looking based on nothing. She advertised an upcoming stream where she declared she was going to prove everyone wrong. When I saw this video, and I saw how confident Queen Ponzalot and her army was in the face of these accusations, I started second-guessing myself. Could everything I know about human anatomy or blindfolded gaming be wrong? Could the thousands of gamers who have dedicated themselves to blindfolded speedruns have missed something so simple? Maybe it was possible to just use your ears and play like normal. Maybe everyone had been doing it wrong the entire time. I was ready to have my entire universe blown to pieces. Honestly, I thought she was going to back out. But just like she said, on the 14th of February, she went live. This time, she had a new blindfold. But before she started playing, she wanted to prove that the blindfold she was using before wasn't transparent. She used a powerful torch to show that no light was getting through. But wait a minute, this blindfold isn't the same. She's changed it. This is what it was like before. Now it's been folded up. And you can even see the seam lines where she has obviously sewn it together, and probably sewn some kind of material on the inside. The YouTuber Abisoft, who was there, there, asked her to unfold the blindfold, which is what it was like when she used it before. But she refused and timed him out from the chat. Even before doing this new attempt, she was gaslighting, avoiding questions, and banning people who were raising legitimate concerns. It's clear as day she is a very dishonest person who is willing to tamper with evidence and trick people. However, while she is a dirty liar, and her pants are surely on fire, she is also a magician. Her most recent attempt was amazing. She went on to beat Alatreon again with a proper blindfold on, and with paper covering her screen. It was so convincing that once again, the opinion of the most important person in the world, Asmongold, had been changed. But anyway, yeah, it looks like the Altrion blindfold kill was actually real. It did actually happen. But does that mean she wasn't cheating? No, it doesn't. There were many obvious signs she was still cheating, and all of the issues with the vertical aiming still exist, and are even amplified to the extreme. Plus, there were some really, really bizarre things that were going on as well. But in order to do this most recent attempt justice, we are going to need an entire video, because this rabbit hole is deep. Queen Ponzalot thinks she is sneaky enough to get by me, but unfortunately for her, I see everything. So ladies and gentlemen, mark your calendars for February 29, and we'll find out if Queen Ponzalot is a literal superhero who can do things no other human can, or if she's just a deceptive streamer lying to her fans and pulling off the oldest trick in the book once again. Stay tuned. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, you legends. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.